Hey guys, just got uh, Church Bible Publishers newest addition to their family here. This is the turquoise in red letter. Uh, everybody's been kind of waiting for this one to show up and uh, man, I'm, I'm really impressed. Uh, this Bible will be coming out soon guys. They had a little bit of a bump in the road. Um, they want to make sure they send these things out as uh, nice as they can for you and kind of run into a little bit of a bump and they'll be out soon guys so I'll, if I uh, hear any news I'll let you guys know but I got a review copy for you so you can get a look at what this Bible is going to be when it shows up to your door. Um, this is their brown leather iron calfskin and you will find that if you order a brown leather calfskin from church that if you have one you'll know what I'm talking about. The oil in this leather is so strong when you open it up it literally fills the room full of that beautiful leather smell. It is just, uh, it's hard to explain. It's one of the best smelling leathers I've ever had. Look how soft that is, the cover. I rolled this thing up, not a ton yet, but enough to bring out the grain structure so you guys can see what your Bible will look like. Once you open her up and start messing with it, you'll start to see the grain come to life. And I'll try to get it to where the light doesn't shine there so you can see the color. That is how it looks to me here at home. It's more of a chocolate brown. So I'll try to get it, there you go. Kind of gives you a look at what your brown color is gonna look like on your leather. The light sometimes will bleed that out on these videos. So be aware of that guys, that what you're seeing is like on this table, the light shines down and kind of changes the color of things a little bit. So I try to move it around a lot to where you guys can see the better color kind of pop out on these leathers and they can be really tricky to the eye but man guys i brought out some leather bibles you got a cambridge red leather i have a thompson and then i have a holman kind of gives you a mix of the, le the red letters that we have on the market and that way i can show you what their red letter stands up to this is a turquoise regular edition um, this is what they had before if you hear any noises there's people working outside and um, my neighbors are kind of loud today they got lots of kids over there visiting so if you hear a bunch of clanking, I'm sorry, guys. But as you can see, the narrowness of the Bible is quite different. Church uh, changed it up. And thank you a lot, Church, for sending this out. I really appreciate you guys. You bless me so much. Um, I love you guys. You're just a great ministry. Um, they, they only make uh, King James Bibles, guys, so be aware of that. If the King James edition isn't your choice of translation, um, this won't be the Bible publisher for you because that's what they make. So, um, as you can see, they changed it. It has thicker paper. They took out the dictionary, so you only get the concordance and um, regular text. So the paper's thicker, and a, they said it's supposed to be a little le less shiny in the light. So what I'll show you with this, you can see how that light glares off of there from any direction. You're kind of getting a shine. No matter where you go with the camera, you get a shine on this paper. This is their older paper. Um, which I don't mind. I like it. Um, the shine is kind of annoying sometimes with certain editions of the Bible, depending on what light you're reading in. But I opened this one up, and I'm looking at the shine. It's supposed to be less, but honestly, it feels different. The paper has more of a kind of not as slick based as the other stuff. That's one thing I can tell. Definitely by the touch, the paper feels different. Um, at least it does to me. But honestly, the glares never really bothered me that much, and it's not that bad. If this is different, it's not a huge difference, but mainly by touch. And I bet the pins will um, act differently with this with this paper too. So I'll show you guys that later in another video. But let's focus on what the Bible's about, okay? I have many reviews of Church Bible Publisher Bibles, guys, so you can go back and and check out all different types of Bibles. Um, they have a Red Letter Schofield Edition, and they have a Cameo um, Red Letter Wide Margin, which is just an excellent Bible. I have many reviews of it, and they're always just such awesome Bibles. Uh, Church Bible Publishers, one of my favorite publishers, as I always say. Look how soft that is, guys. It just melts. just melts out of the box. But this one had, I wanted to show, the, the hinge is a lot softer. So for you guys that have been getting these for a long time and you know that this paper usually comes out and it stands up like this, 
and it does not want to go down. You have to fight it, and then after a, a few days of breaking her in, you're getting down to that. This was like that out of the box. I opened it up, and it just kind of stood up a little bit, and I pushed it over, and boom, it's down. It doesn't want to come back up or nothing. So isn't that cool? That's a good thing. So here is your order number, guys. So this will be the number that you order. That's their phone number and the Bible number that you'll need. So let's jump over. It has uh, the translators to the reader, so be aware of that. This edition has the translators to the reader. Um, it's a very good read. I suggest anybody who's into the King James Bible, read the translators to the reader. You'll get a better uh, feel for what the translators were trying to do at the time. So we'll jump over here in the middle and we'll get into this red letter text. This is going to surprise a lot of people. Um, didn't really surprise me a ton. It's neat to see the uh, church, their uh, school field Bible is very nice like this. The red letter is very dark. It's a very nice red letter, but I think this might be a little bit different. And I'll show you guys here. I'll try to focus this as best I can so you guys can get a good view of the red. So here are your other reds on the market. You have Holman, Thompson, and Cambridge. Cambridge is going to be the granddaddy of red letter. This is the best red letter I've ever seen. Their cameo red outdoes every red letter they have. As you can see, it's going to go up like this. Look at these red inks from up above. Okay? You're looking at a very, very close... very close to Cambridge Red. I mean, it is almost on par with the Cambridge. And honestly, I think that the Cambridge is darker because, mainly because it's a smaller font. Um, with this being a bigger font and a different style font, I think it, it, it jumps over to this quite well. Um, as you can see, the spacing for the turquoise is spaced really nice. I mean, you get just an excellent read. And, you know, after having the Skyler uh, New King James in red letter, uh, I don't have that to compare. That one's gone, I gave it away. But um, the, the red in that doesn't even, it doesn't compare to this. I think they did the, the red letter in the Skyler a little bit too light. Myself, I, I didn't quite, it was nice, but it just didn't quite grab me like this does. This red, for red letter lovers, you are going to love this red. And I wanna block that light, because it's so bright. So what I'll do is I'm blocking it with my hand here to give it some shadow, to give you just a look at what that red is, guys. Isn't that nice? Look at that ink. You guys, this is a church publisher's doing this with ministry money, trying to bless us by making Bibles at cost. Um, cost of materials they do such a great job and you know sometimes they'll hit a bump in the road and their ministry gets hurt um, like with a video I did about some glue issues they had but I tell you what man nine times out of ten their Bibles come and they are just awesome Bibles I, I love this ministry they're such a blessing to me and I want them to be blessings to you guys too so if you can um, Get, get a Bible from church, support them if you can, send them a few dollars to help out the ministry, because every dollar counts. I tell you guys, I, I, I love these guys. They got a little bit of note paper in the back. It's not lined, but it's uh, Bible paper, blanks. It says notes, um, probably about 20, let's see. Those, and then you get into the back of the maps, and you get some nice maps. They're very rich colored. They're the, not the latest Cambridge maps, but the ones just before that. Uh, a high step up from five years ago. Anybody who's had local church Bibles will uh, understand what I mean. Um, they're really trying to make a better Bible and, and do it for a lot less money than most publishers. So, yeah, look at that. There's your Smith's own stitching showing up for you. So the stitching's nice. Gotta love that, guys. You got 15 maps all together. You got leather line. You got awesome corners. You got iron calf skin. Uh, I think three different colors. They're gonna be uh, red, brown, and black, I believe. Um, they might come out with some other colors. I know they're experimenting with a burgundy iron calf skin on some of their newer editions. So that'd be really neat to see come out in this one. So 
anyways guys check them out if you can um Look for the date for this release. Uh, it should come soon. They were hoping to get them out this week, but they ran into a snag um, with an issue. So it's going to slow down that a little bit, but they'll get them out as soon as possible, guys. And they have so many other awesome Bibles. Uh, their Cameo Red Letter is just on par with this one. It's a beautiful Bible. Uh, they have a Red Letter Note Taker now. They have Red Letter Skull Field. So they're really trying to even things out. So there's Red Letter Bibles and black letter text for everybody in each edition so keep an eye out on those things and they've been such a blessing to me so anyways guys i hope that's a cool video for you and look at uh my next ones that come out hopefully i'll get something here soon for you guys to lay your eyes on check out that beauty beautiful beautiful bible guys so get yourself one uh check them out buy a bible for a friend buy a bible for a family member Support them if you can, if you feel led to do that. I never say, you know, you have to. Just, you know, God puts it upon your heart to do that, guys. Please do. I, I love these guys. They've been such a blessing to me. That's uh, Brother uh, Dennis and his wife, Lee, here in their pamphlet. It explains everything they send with their Bibles. And just an amazing, amazing church. I love those guys. So, God bless, guys. Take it easy. Catch you later.